Guys, this is Mubeen. We are talking about the cardiovascular system. The lecture today is a brief one, fast one, and this is about the nitric oxide. So we just finished a lecture from which this board is present here. The, the lecture was about the autoregulation, and in that we talked about the nitric oxide. So let's go a little deeper into the, the way that nitric oxide works. Nitric oxide is called an endothelin-derived relaxing factor. This is released from the endothelium of the blood vessels. Now when, when is it released? It is released by multiple factors. For example, it is released when there is shearing effect, when the blood flow through a vessel increases and causes a stretch of the, the endothelial cell because of viscosity of the blood, that drag is present, that shearing effect would cause mechanically, it would trigger the endothelial cell to release the nitric oxide. That is one way. Then um, vasoactive amines also cause the nitric oxide to be released. Then histamine H1 receptors also cause, so this is H1 histamine receptor, also causes nitric oxide to be released. Prostacycline also cause the nitric oxide to be released. So nitric oxide is released in response to many, many factors that are looking to dilate the blood vessel. Now what does the nitric oxide do? What happens is when the nitric oxide is released, it goes and it triggers the soluble guanylate cyclase. Soluble guanylate cyclase or guanylyl cyclase. What is the function of that enzyme? That enzyme triggers the formation of cyclic GMP from cyclic GTP. Just like adenylyl cyclase triggers the formation of cyclic AMP. When there is more cyclic GMP, that increased cyclic GMP causes the inhibition of myosine light chain phosphatase enzyme. Now the function of this enzyme is to cause relaxation. How does that actually cyclic GMP would cause the MLCP to be increased? So now when the MLCP's function is increased, then what would happen is that the, that the myosin and actin binding will reduce and that would cause a relaxation. Now one more thing here which is interesting, atherosclerosis. So patients with the atherosclerosis who start getting a damage to their vascular endothelium release less nitric oxide and the redu reduced nitric oxide release will in turn cause reduced cyclic GMP to be present which will in turn cause reduction in MLCP function. So relaxation of the smooth muscle will go down and that means MLCK function which is myosin light chain kinase function, this is from the muscle activity that function would go up and contraction would occur. People with the atherosclerosis have one extra problem and that problem is that their nitric oxide release from the endothelium will, will reduce. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, then do unlike. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please share this channel with others as well.